そう、do a f o l l d t h We no talk about karate jump day. We talk about good game. Very good game. That game is Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. This game truly, 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 fully encompasses the warrior spirit. So now, let's start the show. Thank you, Sensei Nagato. Let's、uh, start Hold That Episode 2. First off, I'm going to tell you a story of how I came to get in my possession Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. I think I said World. 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 There we go. I believe it was like the summer of 92 or early 90s. And before that, I read an article in a magazine about Street Fighter 2 coming out in the summer. I think it was sometime between June and July. And I went to go ask my dad. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll get out of summer camp. I had a schedule. Summer camp was his、uh, seminar for like karate and stuff. As soon as we got home, I remember this pretty distinctly. As soon as we got home from the summer camp, I was like, Dad, can we go get it at the mall? It's Sunday, they're still open. I was annoying as a kid. So my dad takes me over there in the car, and we go and pick up the game at Babbage's. You're probably wondering, what the hell is Babbage's? Well, it used to be, I think, like e- EB Games, Electronics Boutique. I think it was like in that sort of.、Uh, I think they were like the same company, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to research it because I'm just doing this from memory because it's a lot more fun that way. But anyway, I went and picked it up, then we, I went straight home to play it. And then I realized I couldn't do one of the token moves of Street Fighter. And that was the Shoryuken. That was the Shoryuken, the Dragon Punch. I couldn't do it, because when I looked at the, the instruction manual, this right here is what I saw. How am I supposed to do that motion? It's a Z. How, I didn't understand this as a kid. It's like, it's a Z. How do you. Write a Z on a D pad. I didn't understand this as a kid. I, like, I, got a, I got a pen and a piece of paper and I like, drew like, the D pad on there and I tried to draw a Z on it, but I didn't understand what the hell was going on. What I did, I got this programmable SNES controller. I programmed all the moves in there and I just had to press the button and it would do it. I mean, I could do it in the arcade a little bit, but other than that, it was really hard for me to grasp how to do the motion as a kid. Now, it is not that hard because I actually know what I need to do to have it come out. It's pretty damn easy once it's actually explained to you in the directions, like forward, down, down the forward. That's pretty easy, but I still, I mean, I can kind of see the Z, but I mean, they should have just put forward, down, down the forward in the manual. I mean, how hard is that? Oh, Masaki, we need to start the game now! Well, I guess I should start the game because. I don't want any trouble. Lucky, you must sweep the rig! What? Sweep the rig! What? Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? Oh, okay. I, I get it now. <laughs> So, one of the big things back then was a mistranslation in Ryu's victory quote. You must defeat Shen Long to stand a chance. But it was supposed to be, you have to beat my dragon punch to stand a chance. That kind of got misunderstood. This was mostly 
Because of Baka Gaiji. American very stupid. Some people thought it was a new character, aka Ryu's master, Shenlong. Shen Shenlong. Nope. Goken was his master. Well, that was stupid. SRK doesn't knock down. Huh? I'm going to play Doshim. One of the things that they added to the animations of all the characters is vomit. Why? I think it just happens randomly. <laughs> Zangief. I know he does a pretty good amount of damage in this game. Squeezing your balls does hurt. Probably enough for a knockdown. Yeah, I just got a perfect um Balrog on normal difficulty. I'm fighting a car. Yes, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Round one, fight. Due to my cam software not working, I don't have the video of me beating Vega. So, whatever. We're moving on to Sagat. Saget. We're moving on to Bob Saget. Tiger, 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 Oh man! All right, Bison is next. And he proceeds to do some bullshit. Face Bison, what's up now? So we have here Ryu not showing up at the ceremony. Okay, it's in his character. Let's, let's, let's make this ending scene a little bit better. So Ryu thought it was more beneficial to walk maybe a mile to a waterfall and punch it a few times. I do not understand Ryu one bit. So Street Fighter 2 holds up pretty well. I mean it is one of the foundation of present day fighting. If you kind of want to experience how it was. I just had a realization. I'm older than Street Fighter. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a teaser for the next episode. <laughs>